Is your Wi-Fi crawling? Do your movies buffer, your games lag, or your Zoom calls freeze? Before you blame your internet provider, let's run a quick step-by-step -step checkup to figure out what's really slowing you down and how to fix it. First, let's get a baseline speed test. And you can use um, your internet provider's app, AT&T, Xfinity, Spectrum, Verizon. They often have speed tests built right in. Or go to free sites like speedtest.net or fast.com run the test on the same device in the same location and compare your results to the speed you're paying for. And here's a pro tip, run it during normal household hours when people are streaming, gaming, or working. Testing at midnight when no one's online won't show you the real problem. Now before we keep going, welcome back to CyberShield TV. If you're new here, I'm Ken, and this channel is all about keeping your digital life safe and frustration free. If you want practical fixes and easy to follow, tech tips, make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next. All right, step two, reboot your router. That's the little box from your ISP, your internet service provider, like AT&T, Verizon, or Comcast that connects your home to the internet. Rebooting clears errors, applies updates, and refreshes connections. You can do it through your ISP's app by pressing the reset button or by unplugging it for one minute and plugging it back in. Just remember, it may take three to five minutes to fully reboot, so don't do it right before an important call. Once it's back online, run another speed test in the same spot for comparison. Next, optimize your Wi-Fi channel. Most routers default to the same few channels, which means your neighbors may all be competing on the same lane. Many ISP apps have an optimize Wi-Fi button that automatically puts you on the clearest channel. Or, you can use a free Wi-Fi analyzer app. Once you've optimized, test your speed again. Now let's look at the devices on your network. Most people think it's just their phone and laptop, but add in tablets, TVs, smart speakers, cameras, uh, thermostats, appliances, you know, even exercise gear, and now smart grills and smokers. Yes, even your barbecue may be quietly online all day, eating bandwidth. These devices should only be connected while in use. Some of the biggest bandwidth hogs include 4K streaming, 15 to 25 megabits per second per stream. Game consoles, not just online play, but giant background updates. Video calls, 2 to 5 megabits per second each and highly sensitive to lag. Cloud backups, photos and files syncing in the background. Security cameras, multiple HD feeds chew up bandwidth fast. Here's another pro tip. If you have unlimited data on your phone or tablet, turn off Wi-Fi at home. That keeps those devices off your network and frees up bandwidth for what really matters. Next, check your Wi-Fi password hygiene. If you haven't changed it in years, do it. It boots out freeloaders uh, and forces a clean reconnect. After changing your password, reconnect devices and run another speed test. At this point, you should already see some improvements and if you're finding this helpful, now is a great time to hit that subscribe button and grab the free guides linked in the description. Let's move to router placement and extenders. Don't hide your router in a closet or basement corner. Place it centrally. If you have a large home, use extenders or a mesh system. And for important devices like work laptops or gaming PCs, Plug them directly into the router or extender with an Ethernet cable. Wired is always faster and more reliable than Wi-Fi. Now let's talk about bandwidth and household needs. A basic plan of 50 to 100 megabits per second works for about five devices and a couple of HD streams. A mid-tier plan of 200 to 300 megabits per second covers 10 to 15 devices multiple HD streams, or a single 4K stream plus gaming. A high plan of 500 megabits per second to one gigabit is built for smart homes with 20 plus devices, multiple 4K streams, and heavy gaming. If your family of four is all streaming and gaming, a basic plan just won't cut it. Another smart layer is a VPN. It won't make Wi-Fi faster, but it does protect your network. A VPN encrypts your traffic and can block suspicious connections. Great for overall internet hygiene and peace of mind. So what if you've done all of this and your Wi-Fi is still slow? Then it's time to escalate. First, check your router's age. If it's more than one to two years old, call your ISP. They'll often replace it for free or for the cost of a service call. Second, ask about upgrading your internet plan. 
Moving up one tier usually costs 10 to $20 more per month, and you can test it before deciding if it's worth it. And finally, consider upgrading your router. ISP provided routers are the bare minimum. A dedicated modern router can handle more devices, deliver faster speeds, and improve stability. I'll drop a couple of trusted options in the description. So to recap, run a baseline speed test, reboot, optimize your channel, check your devices, change your password, and adjust router placement. Match your bandwidth to your lifestyle, use a VPN for hygiene, and escalate to your ISP or a new router if needed. Don't settle for ratchety, streaming, and laggy calls. Take control of your Wi-Fi and it'll feel like a whole new network. If you found this useful, subscribe to CyberShield TV, grab the free AI prompts guide, and check out the full playlist linked in the description for more practical ways to protect your digital life.